Alright farmers, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got some new mods and we've got loads to get through. Right, so first up, we've got the updates. So the first one is the stone crushing lime production. This is by Flusty94. On the update, it's had added new requirement of 1200 litres water to make lime. Added storage capacity for water. Increased requirement of stone from 1000 litres to 2000 litres. Increased output of lime to 4,500 litres. Reduced storage capacity for stone to 150,000 litres. Reduced storage capacity for lime to 100,000 litres. Increased overall price to 25 grand. Improved placement of object and added animation and effects for unloading the auger tray. So that's the update on that. Next one, we've got the Flegal DPW pack. This is by Mephius and they added fixed center of mass on that one. And then the next update we've got is the Case IH 7200 series by Matt26. Now they've changed on the change log the fixed fuel, added mirrors configuration, added beacon lights configuration and added front loaders. Then we've got the JCB325T by Landev. They've added inner camera and corrected colour from Palette Fork. Then the New Holland BR6090 and Case RB344 by Daniel X321. Now in the change log it says the animations for unloading the bales has been improved. Case RB344 has been added and changed desk version to 63. And we've got the Deutz Fast Series 7 TTV Series 8 TTV by Redcap 3D. Now they've applied patch 1.2 changes and fixed fault with wrong indoor hoods on patch 1.2. And the last update for today is on No Man's Land by Alien Jim. So in the change log it says combined both sale points at the shop into one. Added stones to the farm shop sale point. Added a placeable grain selling point. Added a placeable production selling point. Added a placeable bale selling point. The vehicle shop is now has a low polygon collision for optimised performance. The old burn ruin placeable has now low polygon collision for optimised performance. And remove duplicate textures. Now there is a good thing with that. It says there is no new game save required. So that is excellent. Right so the first new mod we've got for today is this in front of us this is the stone stone selling station by dogface 82 kilobytes on the download and you're going to find this in the construction menu so we'll go in there under production and selling points so there you are 750 to buy put it down and then you haven't got to go carting your stones off all the way across the map to the debris crusher excellent Right, next up we've got the Concrete Divider. This is by Dazed, 63 kilobyte on the download. And you're going to find this again in the construction menu and under decoration and others. So if we scroll back along, there we are, 1250 to buy. Place it down and you can make yourself a little indoor silo with this. Because it's got collisions on so the crop doesn't go through it. So obviously you get one section for the 1250. So I'll just put three down to see how close you can get them. But yeah, you want to divide up a big barn. Excellent. Right, next up we got Carport by Toggrim. 0.16 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find these again in the construction menu and under sheds. So we'll scroll along to find it. There we are. Two and a half grand to buy. Place it down. Little storage area for your tractors or equipment. Excellent. Uh, next up, we've got the Placeable Snowmen. This is by Top Ace 888 It's 0.28 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find these, again, in the construction menu, under decorations and under others. So there we are. So we've got 50 each. So you've got small snowman, medium-sized medium snowman, and big snowman. Now, according to the website, it says they are made from a deceptively real plastic and therefore can be placed all year round. You want a snowman on the go all year? Excellent. Right, next up we've got the Fence and Gate CME001. This is by Chmelek. I hope I pronounced that correctly. 0.26 megabyte on the download. You're going to find these in the construction menu, on the decorations, and then on the fences. So we'll scroll along till we find it. All the way down the end, probably. 
There we are. So it's 100 per section of fence. And then it's 900 for the gate. So the usual thing, place it down and then pull it out for the fence part. And away you go. Actually got to it. Nice big gates for you. Excellent. Right, next up we've got the Industrial Bakery. This is by Dogface. It's 1.81 megabyte on the download. And you probably say we've got bakeries already, but this has got a bit of a difference. This is going to produce your bread and cakes five times faster. Excellent. So if we go into the production chain menu. There. So Industrial Bakery. So this one has got for bread 10,800 cycles per month. Then 960 cycles per month for the cake. So you're going to get it done loads quicker. Excellent. Right, next up we've got the French Farm Buildings Pack. This is by Omatana. 11.03 megabyte on the download. And there's quite a lot in this pack. So first up we've got this one in front of us. This is the Multi Fruit Buying Station. So you're going to find this in the construction menu. And under Buildings and Containers. So we'll scroll back to find it. Have I gone the wrong way? Oh no, that is 10 grand to buy. Place it down and obviously pull up to the trigger point and buy whatever you like. We then got the multi fruit stone silo. I put my teeth back in. So again, construction menu under shed under buildings and silos. So we'll scroll along to find this one. There it is 30 grand to buy, 5 million litre capacity. So that's excellent. Obviously, drop off, drop off and unload at the same point. Excellent. And then next up, we've got farmhouses and decorative farmhouses. So for the farmhouse, obviously, it's going to be under farmhouses. You've got three options. Obviously, with the farmhouses, you can only have one per time. So we've got the first farmhouse there, 20 grand. The second one, if you bought it as a farmhouse, it's 30 grand. And then the third one, if you bought that as a farmhouse, is 40 grand. But you can also buy these, all three of them, as decorative houses. So if we go up to decorations and then to others. There we are. So they're 500 if you want the first one as a decorative house. 500 for the second and 500 for the third. So that's your houses. Obviously, sleep trigger at the front. Around the back. Is your wardrobe trigger nicely detailed these are very nice indeed excellent and then also with the pack you've got some sheds you've got these here so you're going to find these obviously as you can imagine on the sheds so we'll scroll along till we find them oh so many sheds in this right here we are so the first one there large shed five grand to place down and we've got the second one narrow shed three grand to place down and we've got the third one the small shed three grand to place down and then the last one the shed light 1000 to place down obviously they're drive through so if you've got big equipment you're going to be alright with these excellent that's a nice pack that is the stonework on it is really nice excellent Right, next up we've got the Universal Porch Roof. This is by No Name. It's 5.57 megabyte on the download. And again, construction menu, under buildings and sheds. There we are. So we've got the first one here is two grand to put down. Seven meter porch roof. The second one, two and a half grand, so that's 13 meter. Third one, we've got 16 meters, that's 2,700. And then the fourth one, 2,900 for 18 meter. And then the last one, we've got a 6 metre, and that is 1300 to buy. The last one probably needs to be right up against the building because it's just floating in mid-air at the minute. Excellent. Obviously, you want to put it down the side of a shed or something. Have a little area to put stuff under. Ah, very nice. Right, next up is the Old Farm Package. This is by DMI20MM Normandy. It's 26.23 megabyte on the download. There's three buildings in this, but two of them are farmhouses. So I'll place this one down, and then we've obviously got another option. So we've got this shed here. You can open the doors up. Go inside. That's a little area for you to store stuff in. Then we've got the house over here. 
1823 that's an old building sleep trigger there and then on this particular one you go all the way around the back open those doors up a bit of storage inside if you want to does have a vibe of an old cow barn maybe but again put stuff in yeah all right they are obviously if we go into the construction menu if we then sell that and then down the farmhouses and then we'll put the other one down see the second one doesn't have any openable doors it is what it is so you still place it down as usual and you got your sleep trigger at the front so the two farmhouses obviously going to be under farmhouses 100 grand each place down whichever one you fancy and then the shed is going to be under sheds as a shed normally would be we'll scroll along to find oh there we are gone past it so five grand to place that down and that's your shed excellent right next up we've got the modular bga this is by caster ds agra service 73.95 megabyte on the download and there is loads to this pack this is a build it yourself biogas plant excellent so if we go into the construction menu then to production chains and factories you want all these ones that have got lizard energy written on them so we'll start off here spin the camera around there we are so we've got the first one there bunker silo small so this is where you're going to dump all your stuff we then got bunker silo middle again dumping all your stuff we then got bunker silo with bio grinder now the difference between these two is with the first two you can put in silage manure and sugar beet but with the bunker with bio grinder you can just put straight sugar beet in you haven't got to chop it up excellent then we've got bunker big then we got bunker big with bio grinder then next up we've got the fermenter ECK we then got the fermenter 100 we then got the fermenter 150 fermenter 200 fermenter 300 then we got the large post fermenter one so you're going to put your digestate in here and get your methane and your electric out then we got post fermenter two middle post fermenter that's you're going to put your that says there you're going to put your biogas and electricity in and get digestate out and then that one is you put your digestate in and get biogas get your methane and your electric out random okay and then we've got the small post fermenter we then got the liquid fermenter big so you're going to put your slurry in and get everything out we then got liquid fermenter small and then over here we've got the central liquid manure storage we've got the central digestate storage we've got the generator one and then we've got the generator two spin the camera around and then we've got the methane, methane tank at the end. Now I'm going to go put some new teeth in. Whoa, that's a lot in that pack. Obviously, you put in whatever you want. I mean, if you've got certain things on the go, you're not going to need it all because that's going to really rack up the prices. But, ah, excellent. This really does add into the make-it-your-own style. Oh, I like that. Very nice indeed. Excellent. Right, next up we've got the LOJM2 round bale fork. This is by Farmary Farm Ari 99, 1.03 megabot on the download. You can find this under bale loaders. So the options you've got there, you can have a three-point hitch on the back, a front loader attacher, three-point, well, that's it, front loader or three-point attacher. Obviously, there's no options to change the colour. It's going to take one bale. I mean, 450 to buy, that's nice and cheap, that is. Excellent. Right, next up is the Lizard KLA3M. This is by Sloyd Chess Modding, and yes, we're back to the small working equipment. Oh, right. 1400 litre capacity, 8 mile an hour top speed, well, working speed, and it's got a 3 metre working width. So this isn't a sprayer per se going to load it into the top there and it's just going to dump it out the bottom so the options you've got are wide tires or standard tires 
then the main color we change to a blue and then the design color will change to a purple changes the flaps on the top and then the rim color obviously changes the rims so you go for whatever you like I mean three and a half grand to buy a standard that is quite cheap but three meter working with when you're doing your fertilizer or your lime that is really small we'll carry on right next up is the lizard adapter 5r this is by bgamer003 1.63 megabyte on the download you're going to find it under the miscellaneous section so this is going to allow you to attach to your front loader there to a three point hitch it's even got the output there for a pto so that's excellent 350 to buy so that's well cheap and the main color you change that to anything on there changes the main color so if you've got some work on the go i mean the website says this allows you to load the machines to a height and use as little space as possible the adapter also has a cardine cardan shaft which is driven by a hydraulic motor which allows you to work with the machine on the front loader at height excellent ah, that's all right that is right next up is the lizard n012 this, this is by Austray slycliff 3.27 megabyte on the download and you can find this under fertilizer spreaders so it's going to cost you 750 to buy a standard 251 liter capacity 10 meter spread width and a six mile an hour working speed now you can change that with the capacity up to 330 liters or 251 whichever you want to go for design non cover wpm cover disc both covers then back to none and attaches you've got standard or you can put a trailer hitch on the back we'll change the main color to any one of those go with red ah that's something different obviously even with the extension on 330 liters you're not going to get a lot done in one go so you are going to have to keep filling up but i do like the style on that ah excellent right so we've got the horse cruiser 12xl this is by tarxy 007 and you're going to find this under cultivators so it's going to require 500 horsepower wow that's mad that's mad that is 12 meter working width and nine mile an hour working speed so the options you got there are just your tire brands so not a lot going on there 89 grand to buy i mean 12 meters it's not small but it's not massive either 500 horsepower that is a lot from your tractor all right if you already got 500 horsepower tractor your quids in excellent right next up is the vader stat carrier xl x825 by bandy 1016 9.56 megabyte on the download and you're going to find this on the disc arrows so you're going to require 340 horsepower from your tractor 8.3 meter working width and a 10 mile an hour working speed so 75 grand to buy there is no options it comes as it is so if you want to do a bit of disc harrowing ah, this could be all right this is nice and bright although that's going to get dirty really quickly excellent i mean 340 horsepower that's sort of like medium-ish tractor range isn't it medium to large excellent all right next up we've got the class liner 500 pro l this is by agra design austria 5.31 megabyte on the download and you're going to find this under wind rowers so it's going to require 45 horsepower from your tractor got 4.8 meter working width and 11 mile an hour working speed so the options you've got at the front there are weight set balls yes or no so you see those on the attacher part there just puts those silver bits on 12,297 to buy yeah it's all right this is i mean the unfolding option is brilliant right so we come out of that yeah watch this so we'll do l b and a unfold that. Dun, 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 dun. that's brilliant <laughs> then we'll do l b and right stick left and right folds that down and then you're away to go oh, i love it that's brilliant mechanism that is for the folding fold it all back in Excellent. Love it. 
Right, next up we've got the Micheletto AM19. This is by Rowley Christie VSR Modding Sir. 6 megabyte on a download. You're going to find this in Animal Transport. So the options we've got there, so 67.5 grand to buy. Then we've got wheel setup, we've got standard or wide tyres. The main colour, we'll change that to the Challenger. Changes the main colour. Design colour, we'll change that to purple. Does the side parts. And then rim colour obviously does the rims. Now the difference between this and the normal one, or the previous mod, shall we say, that's right next door, which is the same price. This one does 30 cows, 51 pigs, 51 sheep and 14 horses. Whereas the one next door, the AM19 2 floor, does 32 cows, 60 pigs and 60 sheep, but doesn't do horses. So if you want to transport some horses, you really need to go for this one excellent obviously similar design pretty much the same design anyway but if you need to do horses get one of these excellent right next up is the csz implements pack this is by dd mod passion 9.50 megabyte on the download and we've got an adapter a cage a dozer blade and now for some reason it's come up with two dozer bladers in this menu and i don't know why and then we've got a mixer so the adapter and the cage and the mixer you're going to find under miscellaneous in the tool section. So we've got that there. Excellent. So this goes from a vehicle with a three point hitch on the tractor to telehandle tools. I'm going to make a bit better use of it from your tractor rather than having two different vehicles. Excellent. 1300 that's not expensive at all then we've got the cage we've got attacher type on the back we've got three point front loader tele handler wheel loader and then three point again then you've got the options of what it takes you've got big bags or tanks yeah excellent that's quite cheap as well 700 to buy and then on the dozer blade so you've got three meter spread on it and then around the back you've got three point attacher Telehandler, wheel loader, and three points. You're going to use this to level out your chaff in your bunker silo. And then the last one, it says there in the top right hand corner, this is purely a decorational object. So this would be like in real life for mixing your feed up. But obviously, they've made it more of a hook it up to the back of your tractor style thing rather than just a placeable. So on the back there, you've got three point telehandler wheel loader and then back to three points obviously you know this adds all into the role play for you excellent right next up we've got the Kuhn Citera pack this is by Matt 26 8.68 megabyte on the download and yes we've got another three meter oh right carry on so we've got this here sit so I keep saying Sierra, Cetera 3000, 3 metre working width, the Cetera 4000, 4 metre working width, and then we've also got a 3 metre subsoiler. So obviously the 3 metre one is going to, I mean, don't get me wrong, they do look alright though, but 3 metre, come on. 120 horsepower requirement from your tractor, and it will run at 9 mile an hour. And then you've got the 4,000, the 4 metre, so that's 150 requirement from your tractor and run at 9 mile an hour. And then the subsoiler, even though it's got the 3 metre on it, it has got that pass route for the PTO. So you could hook this up in front of the other 3 metre and get two things done at once. That is something, I suppose. And that's going to require 100 horsepower from your tractor as well. Excellent. Right, next up we've got the Cargo XK18. This is by Universe Simu Modding, 8.71 megabyte on the download, and you're going to find it under trailers. So as standard, it comes with a 23,300 litre capacity. We can then up that to 27,000, and then 32,500. Then you've got the usual shenanigans on the go with the wheel brands and tyres, and then obviously you can change your licence plate, although that is quite cheap, that is. I mean, even 32,500 litre capacity, just under 35 grand. Oh, that's 
very cheap excellent right next up is the robert straw pack this is by universe simu modding again 37.78 megabyte on the download and you're going to find all four of these under the animal section so we've got the first one here so this is going to be your bale shredder and then the option you got oh get the camera right without extension or with extensions on the top i'd imagine you probably easily get two in there at one time easy then 90 horsepower required from your tractor we then got the smaller version which will go on the front hook up to your should be the free point there shouldn't it or is that that's a front loader attacher though isn't it hmm okay then the options we got with short extension with long extension with a door then back to short extension so if you only got a little bit to do well, according to the front bit, that says it takes straw, as in loose. And then the bale shredder doesn't see anything. So, might not be able to do bales with that. And then we've got the mixer wagon. So, it starts off with 30,000 litre capacity with 90 horsepower requirement from your tractor. And the options, we've got standard. And we've got watering. Why would you add water to it? Then you've got tube. Tube and watering. And then standard then you've got distribution without conveyor that's going to be on the other side isn't it there you are so i'll put a little conveyor belt out for you or without it so if you're going in and you're not quite got to where you want it to be you unfold that and away you go then rear option you've got without option with chest with spreading and without option so i suppose with the spreading if you've got like a a pasture you just spread it out on the ground in an area. Although that doesn't, that doesn't really work in the game. It does because you're putting it in a certain area. Oh, that's a different option. I'm always up for options. Excellent. And then the final one, the BMV33. This is a small one. So this is going to hook up to your... Again, that looks like a front loader attacher. And it's got a 3,300 litre capacity. So you're going to do this for small animals i say small animals not many animals because you're not going to get a lot in it ah excellent nice little pack that is and the last one we got for today is the man tgx 26 640 platform this is by farmer 22 and you're going to find it under trucks so it's got a 640 horsepower engine and 49 mile an hour top speed obviously 135 grand to buy as standard although I've just come straight into this. Oh, it's, it's got the rim colour options. I've two grand to it, hasn't it? Right, so the design, we've got standard. we got grids. That's on the front lights there. we then got horns on the side. we then got grids and horns. And then we've got back to standard. So those horns don't actually make any difference to the sound of the horn. It's both the same. That's just for aesthetic purposes. Then you've got beacons on the top there. We've got standard. We've got one, two three four five so different options for you then main color obviously changes the main color of the cab and then rim color will change the color of your rims right so that's it for your mods today drop it in the comments below which one's your favorite which one you're thinking of using if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one